And you know what else is crazy? Hold on now. You know what else is crazy? For the first time, I don't think they ever, ever, let me let me just lay it out, ever show blood in Steven Universe. They never, 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 never. Hello everybody, my name is Core Reaction and this is a Steven Universe The Movie Review. So before I begin, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's any videos you would like for me to react to, just comment down below with the link to the video. Now I just got through watching it, and I must say, this is this is something that I actually pretty much expect. Uh, this is something I pretty much expected from a Steve Universe uh, show. Is there any? There's no difference uh, whatsoever. Now the question remains. Uh, are they going to do a season six? Some people are saying that this movie is a season six because it's following up. It's a continuation from season five, Change Your Mind, the latest episode of that. Uh, honestly, I there's uh, it varies. And the reason why I say that because it all depends on the creator of Steve Universe. If that person, Rebecca Sugar, feels like making a season six. Because I feel like the movie is good enough. I don't think they need to do a... I don't think they need to do a season. I don't think they. Need, I don't think they really need to touch on or tease us with some sort of trailer for another season this year. So, what I'm saying really is that. Uh, what I'm saying really is that 2020 will probably be the year to where maybe there will be a sixth season of the receiving universe. For that matter, I'm not even too sure. Honestly, uh, the fact of the matter is we have been spoiled to death. Honestly, and uh, hold on. Hello. Hello. Give me a second. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, I think the frame rate is pretty much smoothed and out a little bit. That's what I think. I feel like as I continue on, then I'm going to start realizing the delay. This is why I said I'd be right back. But like I was saying, let me piggyback on what I was saying before. What I was saying really was that there's a chance that there will be a season 6 of Steven Universe. But let me just start off about how elegant the episode started. It started off as if it was a beginning chapter of a whole new series. They have that grand, they have that opera singing and all of that, the orchestra and everything. Steven's pretty much, uh, pretty much summarizing everything that he has been through since season one. And what I find, actually, what I find funny was, oh, ooh, I forgot to say this. Spoiler alert! Even though I was going to say it on the title in the in the video, because you guys tend to be petty at times and be like. Uh, Corey, you didn't uh, say spoiler alert, so how am I supposed to know that you're going to talk about the movie? Because it says a review, so that alone should already be a spoiler alert. So I apologize for not, for not saying it earlier, despite you guys should know that, you know, this is, a, this is a movie review. So a movie review is going to contain potential spoilers. So with that being said, on second thought, I don't really feel sorry, because... You guys are just finding things to complain about, but and what well, doesn't matter. I don't even think anybody's going to look at this video, anyways. They'll probably look at it, hear what I have to say, probably for like two minutes at max, and then just either like it or dislike it or just leave. But uh, what I found funny was the diamonds begging Steven to stay at Homeworld. I was like, wow, this is something new. I mean, like at least they are changing because you know the uh, the last season change your mind. So. Uh, that was pretty funny. I I can see a bunch of people cringing potentially because this is not how they operate. This is not the diamonds, but Stephen changed them. They uh, Stephen helped them to look things at a different perspective, so to speak, change their minds. So uh, yeah, but uh, it all, it's all start off some sort of Disney show because typical Disney movies, there's always a sing along. There's always a there's always a song. One thing about Steve Universe, there was al there's always a song. Not every episode, not every episode is gonna have a song or a sing along, but every once in a while there's gonna be a, a song. And this movie has a bunch of songs, so uh, yeah. But I did enjoy it. It's not like I muted it just for my own sake. I actually listened to it, uh, listened to the lyrics for the most part. But then something bad happens, of course, because this is Steven Universe, and as of Steven Universe, Steven never catches a break. Steven never catches a break, despite him going through a lot for the past five seasons. Uh, I'm not, he's uh, currently 16 years old at the moment, so I'm guessing that he started when, what, 
14 years old, 13 maybe. I'm not even too sure. I'm gonna have to look that up. You true fans would know exactly how old was Steven when he was when we watched him in season one. But uh, uh, what I was saying, uh, yeah, I like how they was building Bisma. I mean, I actually, I, I, I honestly never thought that uh, they was gonna ever touch on this. I thought it was just all going to be about the crystal gems versus that big baddie. But no, they actually did touch on the gems that have been healed from the corruption. And they are helping. They are helping Bismuth. They are helping rebuild and make it their home, so to speak. No, not even so to speak. That's what they are doing. They are making it their home. So I'm actually glad that they actually touched on that part. Uh, uh, they were saying, I, they, you know something? You know how every time when you repeat, when you repeat so many things, you repeat the same thing every single time? And then you just end up forgetting about what you were saying. Like you can say the exact same word all the time. And you just forget. Like eventually. I forgot what they were singing about in the beginning of the episode. But I find it a little bit funny because right after he was saying something, singing something so peaceful. Turns out, oh, comes from the sky. Because Stephen was asking Garnet, uh, what do you see? Do you see us in the future sitting or laying down on the grass and then I'm believing that she chuckled she was about to say yes and then for a second she saw something she was like no and then we see the shadow figure of this spaceship coming down somewhere and uh, what's her name I forgot the villain's name I really felt like I low she I low key could have should have made a reaction but I was not able to find the episode I was not able to find it anywhere I wasn't able to find it I was trying I was going so hardcore of looking for it because you know something I was looking, I was on, I was doing all sorts of research. I was taking Steven Universe, watch free online. I was doing Steven Universe, how to watch it for free on YouTube and everything else. And it, I was, I, you should have saw me, it was a mess. It was a mess. And I was even, uh, and all, and you know something, all, this, this is, uh, misleading in a way because when I do click on the link to watch the full movie, it just takes you to the trailer. It takes you some sort, some sort of video, some sort of other video. And I was like, okay, I give up. I'm just going to have to do a review afterwards. Because my idea was, I, what I wanted to do was make a reaction to it, watch it. And afterwards, have a review. So I lo that alone would have been up to two hours, hands down. That would have been up to two hours. But you know something what I should have also done was, I, I thought about making an audio review. Or an audio reaction. So you're only able to hear my audio. You're only able to hear the words that I'm saying, but you're not able to see my facial reaction to whatever's happening in front of my screen. But you, but you're able to hear uh, my voice, and that's and I feel like that's good enough. But uh, yeah, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, now, the, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a, a a particular theme to this movie. Now I know I'm very I know I'm very particular of things such as pointing out major things or minor things whatever the case may be I may not do it all the time but for the most part I try my best to do it sometimes I don't touch on it sometimes it's after the fact that I press the stop recording and then I'm like oh wait I forgot to say this and I was like it's not even worth it because people don't even watch it but what I was going to say is that uh, uh, hold on it's killing me that I don't even remember her name she played an important part she was the villain slash uh, hold on hold on it's killing me. I got now. I gotta search it up. Is her, is her name Ansi? Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. I, I apologize. I'm most likely going to cut this out, but I just needed to. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Bear with me. Hold on. She played. They're not gonna show her until the end. Like, they're not even showing. Okay, they're not even gonna show it. Okay, okay, okay. You know something? While I'm looking for the name, I actually liked it how all the diamonds were singing, begging Steven to come home. I was like, huh? Begging Steven? You no. Know, the fact that they were singing, they were singing. I was like. That's something that you don't see uh, every day. And of all people, 
Okay, I can see Yellow Diamond singing. In fact, she did once. What's the use of feeling blue? And I can even see Blue singing. I thought at one point during season five, she was going to sing. But then when I hear White Diamond singing, I was like, okay. <laughs> Pretty much because you, you wouldn't expect someone like White Diamond of all people or gems to, uh, to know, you know. Hold on. You wouldn't expect all people to, uh, man, I can't, I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to find her name. But you wouldn't, of all people, you wouldn't expect White Diamond to uh, sing. But she has a pretty voice, actually. Uh, I'm just running out of things to say because I really am looking for the name. I'm Ah, uh, man. It kills me. It really pains me that I don't even remember the name of the villain. And I can't even go as far as calling her the villain because she's been through a lot. She waited 6,000 years for Pink Diamond. Pink Diamond is something else, honestly. Like, when you when you really think about it, Pink Diamond is... I don't even know what word to even describe her. Like, yeah, she got her colony. Pink, uh, Blue and Yellow Diamond gave her a colony, which was Earth. She played one final game where... Uh, that person, that uh, gem, she uh, she stood there, hoping to hoping for Pink Diamond to come back, never came back. And when she finally heard something about related to the colony of Pink Diamond or what she was doing, turns out it was Steven because you know season one, you know season five, uh, roses, Pink Diamond, stuff like that, yada yada yada, etc. But uh. Hold on. I really need to know. Oh, man. This is really killing me. It's not going to show either. Why is it not showing? You know, I think I know why. The reason why it's not going to show because the episode, the movie actually, it's not even an episode, has just been released yesterday. I'm watching it on the 3rd. I honestly thought that... I honestly thought that... Uh, it was going to be released on today, the third, but I guess I misread, misread the, uh, the, uh, you know, the episode release date. Uh, it's going to kill me. I'm, I feel like just rewatching it. Oh boy, this is. I know this is quite embarrassing, which is why I'm most likely going to cut it out because there's no way that I. Hold on. It's not going to show, isn't it? It's not going to show. I think it's too soon to... What is her name? Oh my gosh. What is her name? I watched the movie. I sat there on the chair, on a, on a couch, on my lavish couch for an hour and 28 minutes because that's how long the movie is. And I can't even figure out the name. Oh man, that's going to be the... Oh man, that's going to kill me. It's not even showing. It's not even showing. What's worse is that they're making a bunch of noise in the background, too. You know what? It, it's stressing me out that much. It's stressing me out that much. I'm going to have to pause the video. Pause my recording, in fact. And I'll be right back. And I'll continue this review. Give me a second, because this is kill. So the god dang name is Spino. Okay. Okay. Well, what well, isn't that obvious? She spins around. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. She spins around. Okay. Okay. That should have been that should have been uh quite obvious. Okay. Alright, alright. Yeah, I gotta run my eyes because that was bull crap. And I'm about to sneeze because of that bull crap, honestly. But uh Okay, so Spino, uh let's talk about her real quick actually. Let me think. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. Uh Spino is a uh, Spino. I'm gonna call Spin for the sake of the, you know. She is a interesting. Hold on. I'm tired of this delay. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm tired of this. I don't know why am I delaying or anything like that whatsoever. Hello. I don't. You know. Screw it. I don't care. I don't. I don't really care anymore. Yeah. You saw that. <laughs> I froze up like a. Yeah. Okay. But let's talk about Spin. Seriously, my fault for uh, tuning off a little bit. Spe she is an interesting character. Uh, of course, first impression, she is the villain. 
that's the first impression uh, of the of the movie. I mean, once she was able to understand, of course, we get a, a backstory. Uh, once we were able to understand uh, why she was doing this and why she felt that way, like I was saying before, she waited for Pink Diamond to come back for six thousand years. Six thousand. Wow, this is why I was able. That's why I was saying in the beginning, I don't even know what word to describe Pink Diamond like. She leaves everybody in tears. She left Pearl in tears. She left Garnet in tears. She she left everybody in tears. Like she be always. She is a she has a specialty of making people cry. <laughs> but uh, oh, let's talk about the animation. The animation. I don't know who. I don't know who did it. But bravo to you, sir or ma'am, whoever. I don't even care. You did a good job with the animation, and I just wanted to say that first thing first. Uh. That animation actually reminded me of when Steven met his other half of Steven in the change of mind when yellow when a uh, white diamond pulled out pulled out uh, Steven's gem. The animation I, it, it, was it James Baxter Baxter that did this animation this whole entire animation. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but if he did, then I I actually actually I don't even expect much if James Baxter does it because he actually does pretty good animation with cartoons. But it doesn't change the fact that. Spino or Spin was an interesting character. She is a interesting character because she been through a lot and she was able to explain or through a song of course. She was able to explain why she felt this way and uh things that she went through. I mean like she is supposed to be everybody's friend or that particular person's friend and her and Pink Diamond have always uh, been together and then suddenly like I said I'm pretty much recapping what I was saying but I just gotta say because I need to st I start off uh, fresh a little bit but uh she got a ca uh, pink diamond got a colony and she got a colony and she told uh spend this one final request which is to stand still she been standing still talk about loyalty she had been standing still and all she wanted was a friend that's the crazy part because you know you can relate so much to an extent like you probably have a friend or you probably are someone like Spino being loyal to your friends but then they leave you for such a long time and then everything changes and it's like wow because you know something you know because you know something a friend is supposed to stick with you thick and thin and that's exactly what Spin did until Pink Diamond got a colony now I wonder, I know there's probably a bunch of what if theories, but I'm hoping I'll be the first one. What if Spin went with Pink Diamond? What if Spin went, went with Pink Diamond to Earth to, uh, you know, take charge of the colony of Earth? And I say, quote, because that's not that's what she was supposed to do, but she she saw the beauty of the Earth and that didn't turn out to be so. But... I'm trying to think now. That's a good question, though. Would the results still be the same? I mean, I think uh, I, I think that wouldn't even take place because she was being that serious of being the colony and everything. Oh, uh, man. Man. But, uh, oh, oh, hold on. Let's talk about this real quick. It slipped in, I slipped out of my mind. I'm glad that I caught myself. Let me, let, let's talk about this real quick. The fact that she used some sort of sickle or scythe or whatever, she used some sort of wep a weapon that instantly destroyed the crystal gems. The, I said gems as why well, I said it in some like I have an accent. She destroyed the crystal gems. Uh, Garnet, amethyst, pearl, and Stephen. Well, I felt like I felt in a way he got the most of it because he didn't get hit by it once, but he got hit by it like a few times actually. And it corrupted his gem, but it, but it. What was so crazy was that uh, when they came back, they came back to their original forms, not their original forms like, like when they come back from a poof, like their original forms, like originally what they were supposed to do. Pearl, she was supposed to be someone's servant. Ruby is going to be a protector of uh, Sapphire, and Pearl was actually explaining this, I believe, in some sort of song, but. She was explaining this because Pearl was the first to get regenerated, and Stephen and Greg didn't even know what was going on. And then, 
Sapphire came to original, which was to predict the future, pretty much. Ruby was to protect the Sapphire, and like Pearl was saying, Ruby is usually come in a group of three or more. And Amethyst, well, she was pretty much explaining abruptly, abruptly of Am Amethyst's situation. They're supposed to be strong and tall, but in Amethyst is not that case. And uh, and then what's so funny is that being that in oh before I even continue on, uh, Steven actually used uh, Spin's own weapon against her and end up poofing her. And Steven tried to poof, try to bubble her, but he wasn't able to because that scythe or sickle. I'm calling a scythe. I'm just gonna call it scythe because that's probably what it is. But uh, because the scythe that she used against Steven messed up his powers big time. And let me also remind you that Steven and is a half gem, half human. So put two and two together real quick. So uh, he was trying to bubble, uh, trying to bubble uh, Scythe's gem, but it wasn't work. Spins, uh, spins gem, but it wasn't working. And so it was what I was trying to say really was uh, find the funny that despite her causing all of this, that her new form, that which is supposed to be friendly and everything. Which I find a little bit adorable in a way. And when she was explaining her backstory, I kind of felt sorry. Because a lot of people could relate to her. And so what I was trying to say really was, long story short. Uh, she actually gave Steven the idea. What if you just give uh, put a bunch of puzzles, a bunch of pictures together to find them? And I was like, huh, isn't that a genius move? And that's exactly what Steven was trying to do. In fact, uh, she uh, Steven did that with uh, Sapphire and Ruby. They placed them in that same position like the first time when they met before they fused. Except the roles were reversed. Because if you saw the answer uh, when Garnet was explaining her backstory, I think it was a season, it was in season four, I believe. I wouldn't even go as far as saying season five, but I think it was season four. But maybe it was season three for that matter. Who knows? It's probably that far behind back. But the roles were reversed because you know how in the answer, Ruby was the one who saved Sapphire. And then they fused. And then, well, yeah, it was Ruby that saved Sapphire. But they quickly unfused afterwards. In this case, Sapphire was the one who saved Ruby. And they fused. And they didn't unfuse since then. And I find that quite funny because even though they fused, their memories are still lost. Their memories of their purpose, the things that they have went through up to this moment, it was gone. And I actually liked it because it was so easy for... Steven to retrieve Amethyst's memory because Amethyst is always goofing off and Steven is a goofball himself. Now, I don't care if he now has a neck apparently. I don't care if he's still if he's 16 as uh, or or whatever the case may be. We'll still see Steven as a goofball even though he mature a little bit, sure, but the fact of the matter is it was really it was very easy, relatively easy for Steven to uh connect with Amethyst and in that case it was easy for Amethyst to retrieve her memory because that's what happens later on that what happens Amethyst was the first one because they did that little fancy fist bump and whatever and uh, later on they was trying to do the same thing with Pearl but Pearl oh yeah that crazy part she would listen to every single command that Greg Steven's father give her because because when they was registering uh, Gregory was like, uh, Greg was like, uh, um, Greg Universe. So, being that Pearl is a technical person, of course they repeat every single word. Uh, they was like, um, Greg Universe. And I was like, wow. They couldn't just said Greg Universe. But, anyways. It then, oh, let's talk about this now. Steven is just, Steven is just fusing with everybody left and right. Let's let's just put that on the table real quick. Change of mind. Steven fused with Garnet. Well, yeah, Garnet. Amethyst. Well, we saw that coming. We didn't see Garnet coming. We saw, we see fused with Pearl. Fused with everybody. And I was like, okay. But then when they when he fused with his father, I was like, I lost it. He looks so cool. His luxurious hair and everything. I was like, huh. Because, but then again, when you when you really think about it, when you dissect it a little bit, you shouldn't really be surprised. Greg is a is a human. Connie is a human. Steven and Connie at one point fuse into Stevani. So what are they gonna call it now? 
Gregorverse, maybe? I don't know. Gregorverse or... I don't know how they're going to call it. I think... I, let's let's just put this on the safe time, the safe side. They're only going to fuse once. We're not going to see them fuse again. But we know that they fuse. Now we're trying to put a bunch of... A bunch of names to call them. Because Steven and Greg... It's the Greg? I don't even know. Gregan? Grevin? I don't even know. Let me stop trying. Mashing on my mind. But, uh... That was, ep that was epic. Had the guitar. And everything. That was... That was that was nice. That was nice. I have nothing else to say. I it was it was amazing. It was amazing. They did a good job. They executed that scene so perfectly. And it kind of and in that sense, it actually makes sense to to uh, kill or make Greg disappear because the same thing happened to Pearl and uh, and uh, Rose. She disappeared. She disappeared. So did, uh, but the, but then, it, but the thing is, I find that weird because I don't know if this is a plot hole. Maybe this is me thinking, overthinking it. But what I find weird is that she knows that Rose didn't disappear because she knew that Rose was Pink Diamond. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were just trying to push it in a way to where okay, she did at one point. I don't know because if you rewatch that scene. Uh, Pearl, uh, they were saying how Pearl needs to lose Greg or lose his ones. Well, I guess in this case, it wouldn't really matter because, yeah, it wouldn't matter. So scratch that off because Pearl, Pearl sees Greg as a new leader. I can't find a, a, another word to say about it, but a leader, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, so that happened, and then eventually she got her form back in. Let me just let me just say this too. I like the fact that when they got their memories back, that bright light form before they turn out to their physical form, they were ship shaping to every single thing that every single thing they went through. Like for Amethyst, ship shaping. Uh, remember the time when Garnet and Steven went to uh, Amethyst room. In the crystal, in the crystal house, because this life slinker, whatever, he was black. He's dark, but it was dark. It doesn't really, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, the point is exactly. I like it how they was going through every single transformation before. I was like, now that's, now that's what I call a change. That's what I call a change. Uh, also, I like what I also liked was uh, trying to think now, because a lot did happen. So, I'm glad that they are piggyback on piggybacking on backing on this as well because being that Steven is half uh, human and has crystal gem powers, well gem powers, uh, he can't live without his gems. And you know what else is crazy? Hold on now. You know what else is crazy? For the first time, I don't think they ever, ever. Let me let me just lay it out. Ever show blood in Steven Universe. They never. Never, 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 never. They did. Huh. They never show blood. Let, uh, say, give me an episode Give me an episode name where they actually show blood. Where someone is bleeding. Someone. I don't even care who. Now, let me, let me be more specific. Give me an episode to where Steven actually bled. From his nose. Yo. I was like, okay, this went pretty dark. And you know something else. In season five... Steven, I don't know what was up with that, but they was really trying to avoid the word dead or die. Because when Lars did Lars did die, but Steven it was trying to look for some other word or another way to phrase that scenario of Lars being dead. So now that they said dead and so many times in that episode, I'm like, okay, finally they said the word dead or die. Because that's what happens. I mean, this can't always be a this cannot always look for it in a kid's Cartoon way. I know that. I know you're trying to remain. Uh, I know you're trying to. I'm trying to word it as well. But the thing. Uh. But oh man, moms are swelling. But my point is exactly. That was amazing, and uh. Oh yeah, let's talk about Greg's arm. Oh man, I don't know what happened to his arm. I don't know. 
I don't know what happened to uh, Greg's arm. I don't know, honestly. But I what I do know. Give me a second. What I do know is that if it wasn't for Stephen Powers, I don't know how they're going to operate with Greg's arm. I think it was his left arm. It doesn't even matter because Stephen healed it at the end because he realized that everything that he's been through, there was one thing that he didn't realize that he'd been through as well. He changed. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. All right. I uh, Where was I? Uh, if it wasn't for... If it wasn't for... Yeah... Oh, okay. Um, this is what this is why, this is why I gotta mute my phone because I had to, to make take a phone call. But the thing is, uh, Stephen been through a lot, and the one thing that he didn't realize until the end of the video, to the end, not the end of the video, to the, towards the end of the movie, was that he was he changed. He changed, especially in the season five. Change your mind. So in that sense, Stephen's like, oh, change. He been through a lot of change. I mean, he grow older. He matured a little bit. He start taking responsibility of his mother's actions. Now, if that doesn't show maturity at all, if that doesn't even, if that doesn't put the word maturity right there on top of Steven's forehead, then I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say. But yeah, change. He been through a lot of change, and so as a result, he was able to realize that he got his powers back. I thought they was gonna have that some sort of anime fight, but all it's all a sing along. It's all a sing along. I was like, okay. And then she said something. Uh, Spin was saying something like, uh, "You think a song is gonna change the way how I feel?" I was like, "See, I told you, a song is not gonna make everything feel better." But, <laughs> but, but the bottom line is though. Uh, the bottom line is, give me a second. I keep on pausing. I, ugh. okay. The bottom line is, Steven Universe, the movie, was hands down the best. The best. I don't know what else to say about it. There, I don't think there's anything else I could say about it. Hold on, give me a second. But I could say that this video is delayed. And I don't like that. Give me a second. Hello. Okay. Let me do this a little bit. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Long, boring story short. The movie was amazing. Let me fix this in the way. I'm still talking, but I'm letting you guys know that the movie was hands down, hands down, perfect. There was no, uh, there's nothing bad I can say about the movie. There was nothing bad about it at all. Everything was executed perfectly. Everything was good. Like, I don't, I can't find that one bad thing to say about the movie. I thought at one point there would be some sort of plot hole, but I don't think I'm even smart enough to even try to dissect that plot hole. And you know what I think for people who actually does a decent, a thorough review of movies or shows, they probably most likely rewatch the major parts that happen in the show and dissect, I don't know, but I'm going to end my review here. That was my review. Uh, oh, and give it a scale of 1 through 10, I'm going to give it a 9.5. The reason why I said 9.5 and not a 10 is because the singing. I mean, I, I love Zach Callison's voice. Not love. I like Zach Callison's voice. I, and it got deeper. Steven Universe uh, physical body change and everything. And everything. But uh, the singing. Oh my gosh. The singing was good and all. But the, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to say it. And then people be like, oh, screw you, Corey. But I'm going to say because it it's my review. If there was less singing, then I would give it a, a perfect score, a 10 out of a 10. But, you know, we all can't get what we wanted. But we all can't get what we want. But uh, I'm going to end the video here. I apologize in advance if the video appears to be laggy. I've been trying to fix that for the longest. I'm just going to have to buy a new webcam. Like, return this old webcam and just, just buy a new one. Because this right here is getting on my, last, my very last nerves. But I'm going to end the video here, the review here. Thank you for watching. If there's any videos you would like for me to react to, just comment down below with the link to the video. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you all later in my next reaction rotation, which will be Justice Unlimited, maybe. I don't know. Justice League Unlimited. I don't know. I'll find out for myself. Or maybe you guys can choose. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.